You've been one of the first people to work with a document reader and uh, everything it does. And quite frankly, well, you've been through two of them already. <laughs> What's it like to work with a document reader? How do you use it in class? Well, I use it instead of writing on the board. And the reason I switched to the document reader is for two, two parts. One of them was because that way it allowed me to keep an eye on my students while I was talking to them and I could make more eye contact and make sure that I could see what students were doing while I was writing down the information. And the second part was because I was having shoulder issues and reaching my hand above my head to make full use of the board became difficult. And by being able to sit down and have it at table height made it a lot easier on my body so that I wasn't uh, sore and didn't have any problems with my shoulders. But you didn't just use it for showing students how to do certain mathematical equations. You've used it in all types of capacity in the classroom. Well, the benefit of the document reader is I let the kids uh, try something on either a whiteboard or a paper and then examples that I'd like to show the other class um, how students are doing things is I can bring it up to the front and let other students see how uh, students are finding solutions or being creative. It also allows me to use my textbook examples or written examples. Um, I can use items that I couldn't use with a regular overhead projector because you can't see through it. You were without one for a while. The bulb went, uh, we had to send it in, and so on and so forth. There was one of the older models too. Um, how was that like, going from with one without? It was really hard, first of all, because when it, it stops in the middle of a class, then you're trying to find the big whiteboard markers, and you know students found it immediately as an opportunity to get themselves into mischief while <laughs> my back was turned. And it also made it harder because I'm used to being able to work on the smaller surface, and as soon as you turn your back and start facing away from the students, you have to rethink everything that you're doing. Do you doing. think every math teacher should have one of these? Do you think no. every class should? <clears throat> yes, definitely, because it allows you to um, interact with your students more. As soon as you turn your back to students, they have the, um, the authority to shut down. If you're making eye contact with them, you can engage more students, especially the ones that are in the middle or the back or the edges that you don't normally get to look at while your back is turned or you're only pivoting three quarters of the way around in order to, to talk to them. So it just makes things so much easier and you can allow a wider variety of examples and it allows the students to interact more with each other as well as with the teacher. You're also doing something new in math in regards to assessment. I, I just heard of that. Could you explain it in more detail for me? The concept is it's a mastery based assessment rather than having a student get 60%. Uh, 60% could mean anything from they've uh, know 100% of 60% of the curriculum or they know 60% of 100% of the curriculum and being able to tell where a student is deficient or is struggling is really hard to do when you look at it in a big picture like that. So the concept is I've broken down the uh, PLOs, I've given the students copies of what they're expected to know which is turning the, the knowledge over to them. It's giving them the, the authority to know what they need to know and it also allows me to find out where students are deficient. I've got students who have never got more than 30% on a math test in their life, but they have now mastered or got 100% in one or two learning outcomes, and they've experienced success for the first time in a very long time. I've got students who didn't want to put any effort in, they were happy with the 60% they were getting, but now they feel they can master something and say, I know this to 100%, I find that they're working harder, and now they've mastered nine out of the 10 skills required for a section rather than being happy with 60% of all of that. It's taking a lot of the, the ownership off of me and giving it to them because now they're in charge of what they know. Uh, it's taken a bit for the students to get away from the <clears throat> what's my mark. And the students are now not asking me what their mark is, they're asking what sections do I need to work on um, when can I revisit this concept and prove that I've mastered this skill? You've differentiated the classroom. Yes, I've allowed every student to individualize their learning to what they need to know and focus on what they're strong on and allow them to focus on what needs a little more work or a lot of work. Um, it took a bit and it's taken a lot of extra work for me to change mm -hmm. my assessment bank because I'm not giving multiple choice tests anymore. I'm not doing a big unit test anymore. We're covering several learning outcomes that are connected, mm -hmm. um, assessing them kind of in two or three at a time. And then I've now turned over about one class a week for them to work in groups of two or three with other students who are struggling on the same concept. It allows me to work with the groups 
and help groups of students you know, achieve a, a better understanding. And it's allowed me to give immediate feedback because after we've done a, a skills assessment, um, I can take their paper directly to them 10 minutes later and say, okay, look, this is where you're running into trouble. And they're getting immediate feedback rather than me taking it home and marking it and giving them a multiple choice answer. Is there anything else that you guys have done? Um, I have a, a school Facebook page and what I've used um, when I use the document reader because the, the surface is smaller that I'm writing on, I take a picture of it with my iPhone and during lunchtime uh, or after school I upload the picture to my computer <clears throat> and then from the computer I can post it into my school Facebook page which I have a grade 9 group and a grade 10 group so a couple of the students who are on extended vacations or off sick for a few days can go on and see pictures of my notes directly the same day that I've taken them um, and therefore allowing you know, students to not miss as much. I've got a couple parents who are on board so that they can add, be added to the group. I let the students know, uh, have a test coming up, don't forget uh, exams are only you know, a month away. I've even had students go on there and post in the group, help, I don't know how to do question number 10 on page 55, and three students have taken pictures of their notes on how they solved it and posted it so that the students are actually helping each other on the uh, Facebook groups. At the beginning of each you... course, I sent home kind of a course outline and I let parents know right on there what my school Facebook page is and they can request me as a friend if they'd like to and then they can communicate with me through Facebook and I find that the students for most of my students when I asked are on Facebook at least once after dinner um, parents can also check that way too and I don't give any information on Facebook that I haven't already provided in class but there might be a little hint or two or a reminder don't forget this is due tomorrow so that students have a little bit more, it's a little bit more immediate. And it's, I found that when I had a, a website, very few students actually went to it, but Facebook they're already on and it's hard to miss when a notification jumps up, you have test tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm finding that that's a little bit more um, immediate and it, it's working with students the way they are. We're trying to do the student centered and I found that this is much more effective than a website that wasn't interesting to them that they don't go and visit anyway. Thanks.